community there is helping the families of the victims. Good night. Tonight, new questions in Uvalde, Texas. Why was the gunman able to stay inside a fourth grade classroom for an hour? And why was the school's side door unlocked? Tonight, the growing outrage. As a community mourns, police defend their response to one of the deadliest school shootings in American history. Plus, the death toll grows. The husband of a teacher killed dies of a heart attack. The family says it was grief. Inside the classroom. And then he came in and he crouched a little bit and he said it's time to die. We hear a devastating firsthand account from a nine year old boy. Remembering the victims, the brother struggling to understand why his sibling won't come home. Students across America demand action. Thousands stage walkouts to call for more gun control. Protecting America's schools, what's being done nationwide to keep our children safe. Fighting the rise of gun violence. Could a program in Atlanta be the key to stopping teens from picking up a weapon and instead walking away from a fight? Remembering Ray Liotta, the legendary Goodfellas actor dies at 67. And finally, the community here in Uvalde, Texas, planning to celebrate graduation, instead planning funerals. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Reporting tonight from Uvalde, Texas. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Tony DeGopal in for Nora, who's recovering from COVID. And tonight we are here in Uvalde, Texas, once again, where a community's grief is turning to anger and frustration because of new questions about the official timeline of Tuesday's school shooting that killed 19 children and two teachers. A spokesperson for the Texas Department of Public Safety said the gunman walked into the school through an unlocked side door and was inside a classroom for more than an hour before a tactical team could storm the building and take him out. These new details came after videos emerged from during the shooting, showing parents desperate, begging officers to enter the building and rescue their children. And the massacre has reignited a national debate over the country's gun laws. As we learned tonight that President Biden and the First Lady will travel here on Sunday. A lot of news to get to, and we're going to begin with CBS's Janet Shamlian, who's here to start us off. Janet, quite a press conference we witnessed. Hey, indeed, and it's raising even more questions tonight about the response by police during what was an active shooter situation. Authorities tonight confirming that the gunman was in the elementary school for an hour or more before he was shot and killed. The anguished cries of desperate parents after the